Hello, students. Good. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hey, hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher, and you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. Welcome to everyone. It's actually a great chance to, you know, be ready and also start our class this beautiful day. So, you know, it's definitely a great time for all of us to, you know, to practice and also work a lot in the class. So I just want to ask you, how was your day? How was your day, by the way? Fine. Excellent. So, uh, well, it's actually a great time because we're going to start the class today and also because we have been like doing a great job during this time and um you know just class and we had the chance to practice to work in in teams and uh, keep on trying because we were talking about jobs if you remember yesterday in a class we were working about some jobs that are very difficult for people So there are some jobs that are like more complicated because they are they could there could be dangerous, can be dangerous, could be a little bit challenging, perhaps the salary, some different circumstances, and you have the chance to talk about that one. Well, we we'll continue today with the rest of the class. And we will continue always uh, focusing about jobs. Look at this one and um, look at these examples. Look at the pictures and match the information in column A, B, and C. Well, uh, I sent this presentation um, through the WhatsApp, and so you can also have access to this file. So look at this. What I want you to do is like to check this one. We're going to try to see the job. We're going to complete the statement. Match the information in column A, B, and C. A salesperson, what? Sales clothes? Where? In a department store. A chef. What happened with the chef? What the chef does? Match. Um, Cook. Yeah, so you can look for the word. And then we're going to socialize all of them together. So I'm just going to give you a, a brief moment to think about it and connect the job and also the description about this job. So let's continue with that. In the restroom. Okay, do it right now by yourself and then I will uh, ask you in general.
Okay. Are you ready? Yes? Yes? Yes, no? Tell me, tell me. No. No yet. Not yet, teacher. Okay, that's okay. Take your time. Um, it's important. Well, there are some great jobs. And also the pictures can help you. No. Okay, so let's see here. So you can help me about this job. A chef, what happened with a chef? What do you know about a chef? A chef cooks food in a restaurant. Okay, cooks food in a restaurant. Uh, do we have a chef in this class? I. <laughs> Wendy, you're a chef. Yep. Nice, so you're good cooking. <laughs> That's great. Delicious. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, it's 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 very easy. Easy or difficult? Mm, interesting. It's interesting. All the time is it's a learning process, right? I like it. Okay, yeah, so that's great to know. Congratulations. I like it, my work. It is interesting and delicious. Yeah, definitely. People, what, what, what I understand is that people love your job. <laughs> I love. They love that. They I love Francita. <laughs> yeah, they love what you do. That's cool. All right. So the next one is the flight attendant. What do you know about a flight attendant? A service oh. passenger for an airline. Airline. Passengers for passengers for an airline, right? Airline. So yeah, it's a flight attendant. And um, do you know what a flight attendant is? It's a no. it's a person who like take care of passengers on, on on a plane, as we call in Spanish, like eh, aeromosa o azafate. O azafate. De cabina. O azafata también. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what we call about a flight attendant. And the next yeah. one, yeah. And also one, one of the things about this job is like people need to know um, different languages though, because they communicate with people around the world depending where they are traveling. If there are some, some flies to America or they travel to Europe, depending where they are going. And also English as a main language is important. And that's what I'm saying, that English is a priority for us to learn. Hay mucha gente que dice, no, es que yo quiero estudiar, quiero estudiar francés o quizás eh, italiano. Pero es que el inglés lo ocupa para todo el mundo porque es un, el idioma universal, el primer idioma universal. Entonces, usted quiere Alemania, no necesita hablar alemán. Si usted habla inglés, yo, ahí muchas personas hablan inglés sin ningún problema. Usted quiere viajar a Francia, pero es que no puedo hablar francés. Pero si puedo hablar inglés, se puede comunicar sin ningún problema. Entonces, porque es un idioma universal. Y en Europa, es, en inglés, es, es una prioridad para la mayoría. That is the first language. So you, you take an advantage about it. Okay, the next one is... Yeah? A carpenter. A carpenter. What, what, what happened with a carpenter? Build house. houses. Build house for a construction company. Okay, so we're gonna move it here. Build houses for a construct for a construction company. Yes. And what do you think about this job? Is easy or difficult this job? Difficult. It's difficult. Difficult. Yeah, it's definitely that it's difficult because people have to be you know have to be active and working a long time. The schedule plus the environment, so that could be a little bit more challenging. But people love those jobs, uh, definitely that are important. We go on to the next one. Um, a receptionist. What happened with the receptionist? Transport the phone. And the office? 
in our office. Okay. Yeah, so, well, there are some other definitely that functions. What are, what are resection? What are the functions of a resectionist? Mm -hmm. In our office. Mm -hmm. And what could be the functions? ¿Qué hace una resectionist? Mm. Attend, clean, atiende clientes. Okay. Okay. So there are some things that, that you know they do, right? Attend uh, people. And the last but not the least, the nurse. The nurse. The nurse cares for patients in a hospital. In a hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, take care for patients in a hospital, right? So that's correct. So we can appreciate you know, those jobs and what people do, like in the short description, uh, what people do. And um, we will take a short time to describe uh, our jobs. So in that case, what we had to do right now is that we're going to like talk about our jobs. You will talk about your job, uh, what's your job and what do you do there? Eso es lo que usted va a decir. En este momento le voy a dar unos para que usted pues nos cuente qué hace. What do you do? I'm a designer, I'm a coordinator, and an employee, I'm a secretary, I'm a chef, I'm a teacher. So uh, tell us what you are and what do you do in your jobs? I attend people, I organize papers, files, I send text messages, I work with them. So I will give you right now a couple of minutes to write the description about what you do in your job. If you have a questions or doubt related to the vocabulary or something that you don't know how to say it, I will be more than glad to help you with that. Si tienen alguna duda en, sobre alguna palabra pues, que ustedes no saben cómo decirlo o pues, no, se, no se recuerdan en este momento, usted me puede preguntar sin ningún problema. Entonces, describan en este momento eh, su trabajo. ¿Qué hacen? ¿Cuál es su trabajo? ¿Y qué es lo que hacen? Para luego vamos a socializarlo en pequeños grupos. ¿Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Ok, I will give you a couple of minutes to try to write if you want to do it or if you're more than ready, much better to me. So, a couple of minutes for questions and get your ideas about what you do. And then we move on to the breakout rooms.
Teacher, how do you say escrituras? Uh, writings. I will write it in the chat so you can also check one right now. Teacher, yo tengo una duda. ¿Cuándo o en qué contexto vamos a utilizar safe y en qué contexto vamos a utilizar keep? Si ambas significan guardar. Um, keep va más enfocado en mantener. Keep the house clean, por ejemplo, la palabra keep. Ajá. Entonces el significado es distinto. Ajá. En el caso de save es ahorrar. O guardar. Ah. Uh -huh. Va más enfocado a, a la parte económica. Puede ser, pero también, por ejemplo, save eh, de, de, por ejemplo, de cuidar. Ah. Y keep es como mantener. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna take a short time, a couple of minutes to practice with the, with people in your group. Remember that it's important that you um, stay active in the class, that you participate, you ask questions. Um, haga preguntas, si tiene dudas. Tiene toda la libertad de hacer las preguntas necesarias. Dudas. Porque para eso estamos acá. Entonces, también la participación es importante. Pues si algo no lo entendió, me dice, teacher, mira, yo no entendí. Ya que lo que necesitamos es también garantizar que ustedes estén en la interacción del idioma. ¿Sí? Porque no me sirve acostumbrarnos a un español completo, todo el tiempo español. Estaríamos haciendo mal. Entonces, tenemos que combinar ambas. Right? Pero more English because it's the priority. Y así vamos adquiriendo step by step that one. Okay, vamos a, vamos a, a los breakup rooms. And in a briefly way, you will talk about your job, okay? My name is William, and I am a teacher. Um, I teach in a, in a private school. I teach language art, also some uh, grammar, and also grammar skills. At the same time, I coordinate a group of students. I'm in charge of the education and discipline of some areas, etc. So you give a description about what you do. Entonces vamos a entrar a los breaker rooms y usted de una manera espontánea eh, habla acerca de su trabajo y qué es lo que hace allí. All right, let's do it.
teacher, no me logré meter, no sé qué hice cuando me salió el mensaje. Let me check. Ok. Check now. Okay, look at the screen, please. Juana Margarita. Juana Margarita. Ingrid and Roberto. Quito así como llevar una, una secuencia así de, de del inglés, ¿verdad? Eh, permítame eh, eh, work in hospital eh, para decir cómo o de qué trabajo ahí me cuesta esa parte así <ríe> eh, <Okay>. <ríe> me cuesta <ríe> pero bueno soy eh, como para decir este trabajo como asistente de la directora del hospital del hospital de Sonsonate ¿verdad? entonces sí eh, me toca este, llevar todo todas las la, la, la gestiones y la, y la agenda de ella y de todo el hospital ¿verdad? entonces sí es un trabajo bien estresante Okay. So the teacher, right, I work as an assistant of the director in the chat. Uh -huh. the director in the okay. Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. No sé qué otra información. Yo fui muy breve, no sé si me lograron escuchar la verdad. Sí. Oh, yo, yo, can you repeat again? Sí, podría. Yes. <laughs> Um, in the market. Okay. 
Okay, and you, Catherine? Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Catherine, and currently I don't work, but I was working in a sales room. So I used to do a lot of things like manages transport, also make invoice, uh, attend people, be polite and empathy with them because it is very important. Uh, my job uh, was focus on customer service. Mm. Only that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, finally, in my case, I, I am a doctor. I work in a private clinic in Cojutepeque. And I speak with my patient a lot about the problem that they visit me uh, because I, I need to know uh, the reason for, for visit me. And uh, I try to, to give her or him uh, or him uh, the medical treatment or the help that they, they need. And in your case, uh, Juana Margarita, how many years do you work in a hospital? Okay, well, let's continue. Most of you are right here. Um, I, I could listen to one of you, like, you know, talking about your jobs, what you do, and um, the kind of activities that most of the time you do in your jobs. And, uh, well, we will continue working about some valuable details. Look at... So, let's see here. Well, um, we have a conversation. This conversation, it's called, look at this one, where do you work? Look at this one. This is the name of these questions. Look at this.
What do you see in the picture? A different practice, practice the following gradients. Okay, look it's at that. Uh, different jobs. Okay, that's fantastic. So what we had to do is we will listen to this conversation and we will socialize it in a brief way. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And uh, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger heaven. That's why you can see the hamburger and some like kind of decoration there. So look at this. This is a very interesting conversation about, you know, these jobs, about a travel, uh, travel agent or a travel guide. And he's like, or well, the person is guiding other people to some places as a tourist guide. It's a great job. And also you can see here in this conversation and a student that works part-time job in this restaurant that is fast food restaurant. So there are valuable information about this conversation. Um, do you have questions about vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary? No, no, teacher. Okay, that's great. So do you think that a tour guide um, or a, a guide could be a good job? Not so much that you can go with, uh, with other people to tourist places or attractions. For example, this person take people to, to on tours to, to some countries like Peru. Do you think that could be an interesting job? Yes. Yeah, a beautiful job. You can visit beautiful places. Yeah, and all uh, different places, countries. Yeah, and people love this job. So definitely that is very busy because you have to travel by car, airplane, move one place to other, like everywhere. It is so crazy, but but it's a great job, definitely. Okay, so we won't focus about this exercise because there are some other topics that I need to highlight. And also we have a review of this topic. That is the simple present WH questions and statements. Um, I need a volunteer to read the questions and the answers. Who wants to help me? Yes? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at, at a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She is a guild. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves, loves it. Okay, thank you so much. So you can see the simple present WH questions and the statements, right? There are some questions like, what do you do? And what we talk about uh, your job. When I want to know about what the other person does, I ask, what do you do? Para referirme a trabajo, ¿qué haces? Yo hago la pregunta, what do you do? Uh, ¿Qué haces? I'm a teacher, I'm a doctor, I'm a scientist, um, I'm a 
electrician. I'm a cashier. So we talk about well, what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a doctor. I have a part time job. I, I work full time. Full time, tiempo completo, part time job, medio tiempo. The next one, um, where do you work? I work at or I work in. You can see the examples in a restaurant, in an office, on the street, in a, in a transportation, in, depending where you are, in a bank, so in a library, so depending where you work. And where does, uh, what, where do you go to school? I go to University of Texas. Where does, cuando es tercera persona, ya no usamos el do, sino que usamos el das. And which are the third persons? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? He, she, it. He, she, it. Exactly. He, she, and it are called the third persons. In singular. Entonces, eh, vemos por eso está el das. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She is a guide and she takes people on tour. She loves it. So you can see here these examples. And um, cuando vamos a utilizar los verbos que están a continuación. Cuando son los pronombres I, you, we, you, they, vamos a utilizar los verbos en forma normal. Por ejemplo, está work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. Pero cuando es tercera persona, nosotros tenemos que agregarle una S, una ES o una IES. Por ejemplo, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, and has. I will share something right now that can help us. Just give me one second because it's an image. Let's see. Let's see. It's actually about these rules. And uh, as you know, it's very important to study the verbs because we can study the verbs in the, in the best way. And also I will share with you right now this a very, very simple and also very practical. Just one moment right now, one second. Okay, look at this one. It's as a very simple uh, activity, as a kind of backups. And this is will be for you a review. Let's see, duplicate this one, the verbs. I have a material that could be very helpful to practice. Vamos a ver. Do you remember the rules about the third person? ¿Se acuerdan de las reglas de las terceras personas en presente? ¿Por qué dice un ejemplo? Vemos que en el ejemplo menciona la siguiente estructura. Menciona work y para tercera persona es works. Take, takes, para tercera persona. Study, la tercera persona es studies. Teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes, have, has. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan eh, por qué van así? Porque le agregamos S o ES, dependiendo sea el caso del verbo. Uh -huh, el tipo de verbo, correcto. Y les voy a presentar entonces eso porque ya lo han visto. Vamos a ver. Ok, veamos el ejemplo. Ahí está. Rules for a third person. Eh, por lo general, a los verbos les vamos a agregar una S cuando es tercera persona. Cuando vaya he, she, it. He plays, he dances, he travels, he goes, 
he studies, he eats, he watches, he goes, right? Entonces le vamos a agregar S por lo general. Eh, por ejemplo, work, he works. She eats, eats. Daniela plays. Carlos swims. Antonio writes. Entonces, el verbo es el mismo, pero solo que le agregamos una S. Entonces, a la mayoría de verbos se les va a agregar eso. Pero cuando los verbos terminen en una consonante, como están las vocales y las consonantes. ¿Cuáles son las vocales? Which are the, the vowels? Which are the vowels? ¿Quién se acuerda cuáles son las, las vocales? Which are the vowels? A, I, E, O, U. Exactly. Look at the chat. Those are called the vowels. The vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Right. Esos son las famosas vowels. Right. Eso es de, de ley. Right. Entonces tenemos que conocer las vocales eh, A, E, I, O, U. Y luego pues van las demás. Etc. Right. Entonces las consonantes are those that don't uh, contain vowels. Están las vocales y las demás son consonantes. Entonces, los verbos que terminen en la consonante Y, dice la regla que si es para tercera persona, todo verbo que termine en una Y, nosotros le vamos a eliminar la Y y le vamos a agregar una latina. Más el S. Por ahí creo que alguien tiene conectado al micrófono, creo. No sé quién es. I don't know who could be. Someone, thank you, right. So you can see here. Eh, en este caso es, yo quiero decir que, que Juana estudia inglés. ¿Cómo sería Juana estudia inglés? Juana studies inglés. Studies. Entonces suena el studies. Porque es tercera persona. Pero si yo digo, nosotros estudiamos inglés, we study English. Entonces el verbo va en su forma normal. Solo esta regla aplica para las terceras personas. Entonces, si el verbo termina en una Y, yo le digo una Y y le agrego una I latina más el S. Ella, ella llora por el examen, salió mal. Entonces, she cries because of the test. So, she cries. Entonces, vemos que se elimina la Y y le agregamos una I latina más S. She cries in the party or she cries in the meeting. Try. I try to speak English. Reina tries to speak Italian. Entonces vemos que ahí es uh, tries, right? Vemos ahí como la estructura, right? Tries. And we continue with the rest. Look at this one. And look at this one. Luego viene spite. Spite, en este caso, pues que es de, de como de espiar, de espía. Y... Luego sería spiced, como es tercera persona. She is spiced on the street. Y vamos con la siguiente que es fly. Que es volar, ¿verdad? Decimos she flies to Toronto. Entonces vemos cómo este, le, le cambiamos ahí la estructura. Okay, one student maybe is writing. Uh, one second. One student is asking something here in about a class. Okay. All right, so let's see this one. Y luego tenemos uh, los verbos que terminan en una O. Si el verbo termina en una O, termina en una SH, termina en una... CH o termina en una X o termina en una SS, a ese nosotros le vamos a agregar ES. Es sencillo porque usted va a ver el verbo. Por ejemplo, el go aplica porque termina en una O. Entonces, por eso yo digo, he goes to school. Y entonces, dice, pero dice, es go y ahora go es. Ah, lo que pasa es que es en tercera persona y pues tenemos que agregarle, en este caso, eh, la S porque termina en una O. He goes to school. She goes to the party. Antonia 
goes to Miami, etc. Washed, de lavar. So, Thomas washes his car. Daniela washes her clothes. Pigman washes his shoes. Vemos ahí el verbo que termina en una SH. And then we have the next. Look at the next. Look at the next. Um, luego tenemos eh, watch, watches. She watches television. My brother watches the movie. Uh, Damon watches the film or watches the game. So, y vemos ahí la regla. Y vemos otro verbo que aplica con la regla que es mix, right? Mix, que es de mezclar. Entonces, he mixes the flavors. Él mezcla sabores. O the DJ mixes the music. Entonces vemos ahí que lleva la S porque la regla nos dice que tenemos que agregar. He mix, mixes songs. Eh, vemos otro, que, otro verbo que pues tiene dos S. Entonces aplica también en la regla y pues decimos kiss, de besar. Kisses. Uh, my mom kisses our sister. So, entonces vemos que decimos kisses. She kisses, he kisses. Daniela kisses, Antonio kisses, right? Entonces era como la, la regla, como el review de eso. Entonces, eh, es, es, es sencillo, solo es de, de ver el verbo, si es para tercera persona, si lleva pues ese, pues porque es un verbo general, si termina en una Y, pues usted le agrega la ES, y si termina en O, S, H, T, S, H, X, O, S, S, pues nosotros le agregamos una ES. So, it's actually um, a very practical way. Entonces, eh, de ahí lo demás, pues no cambia, los demás pronombres no cambian. Eh, en este caso, si yo digo, I play, I dance, I travel, you go to the movies, you watch the movies, you play video games, they study English, they work, el verbo se mantiene en su forma normal. Okay, we're going to answer the following exercise. Complete these conversations and then practice with a partner. En este caso, pues, lo que usted va a hacer es que va a completar la conversación utilizando, pues, eh, la forma correcta. Veamos, por ejemplo, what do you do? Uh, I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And... Um, ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué pregunta podría completar ahí? Where did you go, Where did you go to, to school? Ah, ok. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, puede ser, where do you go, right? Where do you go to... Ok, y entonces usted ahí le complementa. La siguiente pues dice, I to the New York School of Music. ¿Cuál sería el, el, el complemento? I go... I go to the New York School New of Music. York School of Music. Ok, puede ser I go. O I study también, ¿no creen ustedes? O I study to the New York School of Music. Usted tiene que ver el contexto. Ok. Y luego las demás, what eh, podría ser la respuesta. Así que le voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted lo pueda eh, completar. Bueno, comentarles de que eh, el día de mañana pues sí tendremos clases, eh, sí estaremos teniendo clases ya que eh, nos, nos comentan de Instaport de que como por la semana de vacaciones eh, nosotros estaremos eh, conectándonos siempre de lunes a viernes por la semana de vacaciones. Como ustedes saben hay un programa eh, establecido, entonces en ese programa pues tenemos que respetar eh, verdad el tiempo de tal fecha a tal fecha es por ello de que siempre es, es importante que estemos pendientes de hacer de entregar las actividades de conectarnos a clases porque el programa es, es bastante continuo y también la ventaja del programa es que estamos en inglés constantemente hay personas que de repente dicen y estoy en inglés sí estudio de aquí y el otro hasta el otro miércoles tengo clases ya y si no he practicado el otro miércoles ya se le olvidó la mitad de lo que tenían que hacer y más si no lo practican en casa entonces cuando hay un programa continuo, es decir, lo que yo estudio hoy, me acuerdo, veo la palabra que dice takes, la voy a ver mañana, ay, me acuerdo, takes, y la voy a ver pasado, entonces las palabras se mantienen, pero si yo, por ejemplo, 
tomo una clase y la otra la voy a tener después y no voy a practicar en ese lapso de tiempo, eh, pues también puede ser un poquito más retador para el estudiante. Ok, complete it and then we practice. Okay, meanwhile, we're going to um, take the attendance list. So we're going to, we're going to try to check that one. And vamos a pasar asistencia en este momento. Give me one second. Ok, vamos a ver. Um, Ana y Isela Llanes. Present. Ana Ruth Pérez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. David Alejandro Rodríguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Eric Javier. Present. Present. Fiorella Alejandra Crespin. Fiorella. Eh, Gerardo José Tepas. Present. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Ingrid Magdalena Castellano. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Present. Jorge Francisco López. Micrófono. Eh, verifiquen micrófono, porfa. Eh, Juana Margarita Sea. 
Present teacher. Okay, Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine uh, Nicole Salazar. Catherine. Eh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruz. Present teacher. Present. <laughs> Catherine Salazar teacher. Okay. And, okay. Laura Lisette Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Eh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Oscar. Present. Reina. Present. Ok, Reina Jael. Present. Roberto Carlos Alfara. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Úrsula. Wendy Lisset. Present teacher. Ok, great. Well, because of the time, um, we're about to finish because we need to respect the schedule. But tomorrow, uh, we're going to check the answers together. So we're going to practice. I will send you also a link about the, the use of the third persons. Le puedo mandar un video por ahí para que ustedes lo puedan ver en un tiempo libre referente a este tema como un pequeño repaso. Así que yo se lo voy a mandar para que en un tiempo libre usted lo pueda ver. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, uh, for staying with us in the class and see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Good Thank night. you so much. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. I appreciate it. Good night, too. Thank you. Thank you so much.